Reapers of Mayhem. Well, back to the channel, Sons of Anarchy, season seven, episode number four, and we are just motoring through the final season of Sons of Anarchy. Vroom, vroom. Yes. Jax is on a killing spree, and I don't really know any other way to describe it other than he has this feeling and this confidence that he's like untouchable, almost like this God complex. That's and bad. he just has this mindset. It feels like he's trying to wipe out every crew there is. And he's got a really confident, really good plan in place, it feels like. And things are going according to that plan, it seems like, pretty smoothly. I, there's got to be, there's got to be like a point where it's like, er, yeah, shit happens. I mean, pump the brakes. There's, there's a couple things that I potentially feel I could throw a wrench in this whole thing. I think jury is the biggest one of those right now. Oh, yeah. That whole situation where whoever they killed, whatever that helper was, whether it was jury's kid or what, it, it's a bad situation because jury knows he's sitting there with the gun that they used, staged the crime or staged the death in the, in the apartment. I mean, it was a crime. Yeah. I mean, it was definitely a crime. Uh, trying to like link it to Lynn and all that stuff. It's just having someone know stuff about what's going on when you don't know that that person knows. That you know that I know that you know I know you know. But he doesn't you know? know. And it feels like something like that could get Jax into a lot of trouble and kind of snowball from there. Yeah. And it just feels like, like the moment one of these situations with these crews follows through the way that he thinks it is, he's going to have everyone turn against him. Mm -hmm. And again, we've talked about it before, but the way he described what he's going to do to Lynn's crew, yes. like that sounded horrifying. Yeah. Hearing Jax talk about it like that without any hesitation about what he's going to do. And again, makes sense. Tara's dead. He thinks they're responsible for it and he's going to tear him down. And it's just, we've got this triangle now of people who have information between Unser, Juice, and Gemma. And Juice, he, he got a meeting with Chibs, and yeah. that whole situation seemed really interesting about what exactly is Juice's play here? I he says he wants question. back in. Is there anything I could do? He had his cut on. It was like, this is all that matters to me anymore. What can I do to get back in the good graces? I don't think there is anything. Tell. Tell something about Gemma. I still don't think that gets him back in. I mean, uh, he has to prove it. Yeah, but even then, I think Jax is so done with him that regardless of what information he provides, I don't think he's going to be let back in. And it's just going to be, he he's going to fall to the mayhem vote. And he's going to die. And whether Jax just makes the call or they actually hold the vote, that was an interesting thing that juice actually asked chibs was yeah, like yeah. is this just jacks acting out or is this something that the table voted on and chibs didn't really answer that because it's none of his business currently but it's just juice he's always been a little bit of a wild card yeah. and he holds the most information currently about what could possibly get all of this just blowed up because if he goes and somehow gets the message to jacks I don't know if Jax would even sit and talk to him. I don't know if he would just try to kill him on sight. Yeah, he's not going to... I don't think he's going to believe him. No. Why would he believe him? Because uh, he'll have very specific information about what went down. No, I know. And he could describe the scene. But that's his... That's his mom. Yeah, because, I mean, Juice was there. No one else was technically there. So he could describe the scene to Jax and be like, I know what was going down. I did all this to protect your mom. Maybe he stashed some stuff somewhere where he could go find it well, and pull it he out. He put it in the dumpster, so those dumpsters are probably gone. But maybe something else somewhere else, who knows. I hope but so. I hope he kept some evidence. I, I feel like there's going to be some throwing people under the bus situation, whether it's Unser throwing Gemma or... Je I think it'd be more about Gemma finding out, like, oh, Unser's digging in on some stuff, and he's getting closer to finding out some information potentially about my role in all of this. Yeah, because Unser knows that Gemma took his truck. Right. I think Gemma is 100%. If something bad happens to Unser, it'll be because of Gemma. Absolutely. Like, there's no question about that. I agree. If it gets to that point, and I feel like it might, because Gemma is usually pretty on top of that kind of thing, and she doesn't need all the information to even tell people or no. act. Nope. So... We know that. We yeah. know that. So that, that whole situation is just... It's really fascinating to see how this is going to play out, because I still think... My little theory is the best one I could come up with. The first person who feels like they're in the most danger of either dying or getting caught up 
is going to be the moment that they throw the, someone under the bus. Right. And whether it's Gemma getting her back against the wall and be like, oh, Unser did this or Juice did this or something. What if Gemma throws Juice under the bus? It's possible. I mean, Juice is responsible for basically covering her. Yeah. So that'd be pretty fucked up. Like, Gemma will do whatever the fuck Gemma's got to do. That's how I feel. Gemma gonna, would, Gemma gonna Gemma. That would be so ruthless of her to throw Juice under the bus after what he did for her to, like, protect the scene and basically get her free from all of this. I just... That whole situation is just... I, I feel like the worst possible thing is probably going to happen, and... I'm here for it because <laughs> I mean, I'm, it's yes. going to be wild. Yeah. And I, it's one of those interesting things where we talked about before Clay died. Is Clay going to be the one standing tall after all this? Like, is Gemma going to be the one standing tall after all this? Like at the end of this show, what's going to be left? Do I, as, <laughs> as bad as I, I, or as horrible as this sounds, I don't like saying this. I feel like Jax is going to die at some point because he can only bullshit so many fucking people and and blame each other on each other for so fucking long before somebody's going to be like no bitch it's you he's definitely put himself in a really difficult position i mean look because what he just did with with he busted up lynn's massage parlor and blames it on marks right so he's making a lot of plays pinning these groups against each other and again, like the Mayans, Lynn's crew, August's crew, you keep messing with all of this and keep pinning things on them. I think they're going to figure out like, oh shit, the sons are the one who's doing it. Yeah. Oh shit, it's Jax that's one, one doing all this. And I still think the conversation that August and Jax had in the car is definitely some kind of foreshadow about Pope's death. Right. I still think that's in play. I don't think that is going to go away. And I mean, I'm sure it's going to come back at some point because the show does a really good job with that. So... We'll see, but I mean, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of moving parts. I don't know if Jax killed that dude that struck Gemma at the end of the episode, or if he just went and beat the shit oh, out of Sandy's him. Sandy's dad. Yeah, I don't know if he killed that dude or he just roughed him up for hitting Gemma. Because I mean, that's the only real reason why he did it was. Yeah. Just, don't give a shit any other, yeah. anything else. So I mean, there's a lot going on. I think Jax is in a really dangerous place just because of his mindset and his attitude. He's setting all this up with revenge on the mind and anger on the mind. And that can cloud some of your decisions and your judgment. And we'll see where this goes. But again, the, the Mayans are in a bad spot. Nero had to like go kill a bunch of dudes, which yeah. this he keeps falling deeper and deeper. Poor Nero. It, I mean, it come sucks. on. It's brutal for him because he's been like this middleman for a while. And it, he just keeps getting pulled in these directions and people keep telling him what he needs to be doing. And he's just trying to like eliminate him. Like he's trying to get away and just like separate he himself. Just, yeah, he just wants to run a legitimate business yeah. and see his boy. Yeah. That's it. And he keeps getting sucked deeper, deeper in his life and it's bad. I'm nervous for him. I'm nervous for really everybody. And some of these storylines and how this is going to go down. I'm, I'm really curious to see how jury's going to handle all this. Yeah. What is his play going to be? Because him and Bobby had a conversation. He didn't reveal anything about what he knows. But I feel Took like... the body out of the apartment or the yeah, house. I feel like so, Bobby felt something. I don't know. Based on their uh, the, his facial expression on the phone call. Yeah. I don't know if that meant anything. There's a lot of moving parts that could potentially get Jax into a lot of trouble. And the club. Yeah. Everyone involved. Yeah. You ready for this episode? Yep. Yeah. Let's go. I find the right size bowl. How much do you think you're gonna be feeding a dog? Hmm. Okay. Two cases. High-end rice chow. Is that an old Asian recipe? That's right. I have some relationship issues to work out, some sharing the dog part shit. So is that a yes? You're gonna meet my dog walker. He'll make the final call. Well, that's gonna have to be soon. Like they don't think any of this is sus. Talking about dog food and dog walkers. <laughs> What are you doing now? Cameras. Oh no, I bought this room. It ain't on. Then why the hell are we talking in code? I miss my dog. Oh my god. <laughs> Marilyn Manson. Fox Marilyn Manson. I'm guessing Chairman Shepherds. Dude, you could you could buy a room in prison? What? I don't believe that. <laughs> I, mean, I guess if you get any of the guards to side with you. I got him. No need. Grandma, I present. Is that Courtney Love? No fucking way! Courtney Love, hole. I'll take care of him now. 
Kurt Cobain. Morning, Abel. Morning. So you stay in the car during drop-off. It just makes things so much quicker. Yeah, it does. Stay in the fucking car. <laughs> if the child cannot get out on their own, you park somewhere else, walk them to school. Oh, the drop-off line. <sighs> Girl, I feel you. <laughs> You know, work and shit. Yeah, this is a drop off. If you want to walk your kids in, you got to park over there. See? The See? If you beep at me again, Mom, I'm going to shove that cup so far up your ass, you're going to be shitting Mocha Chino for a month. <laughs> Gemma, dude. Gemma, I'm, gonna I'm Gemma. I'm serious, though. Stay in the fucking car. You tell those kids, tuck and roll, man. Tuck and roll. Open the door. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Don't Damn, do that. Grandma's kind of crazy. A little bit, girl. You have no idea. Literally no idea. Is Jack spending any time here? Jack's in every day. Is he doing a, okay? That was some brutal shit. Yeah, he's uh, doing what a guy would do whose wife was murdered. Do I have to use like math and stuff to figure out these percentages? Yeah, girl, sorry. <laughs> math sucks, I'm sorry. It, it, I just, you need it. It's important, stay in school, kids, but. I don't ever use math, it's fine. I have this thing called an iPhone. It does math for me. Well, I just don't get it. I never sent Jax or Thomas to any of that daycare or, or Jim Bob Jamboree shit. It feels lazy to me. She's talking to herself I'm... again. Popping off your kids or strangers to raise. Whoa, it's important for them to be social. But I know it's what you'd want. I'm more concerned with her just talking to herself again. Maybe Thomas will be a doctor like you. Oh, is he talking? She's talking to Tara? I can see it in his eyes. He is his daddy's son. Yeah, because he's been exposed to violence. I never doubted my loyalty. Remember Prulo man, fat little shithead from Woodhaven? Who's he talking to now? Well, that his pussy ass. And the Ozone crew was gonna gut him for losing that numbers bag. I didn't have to do that. I just knew his heart was in the gig. Doesn't seem fair. Oh, just went full shaped head. No mohawk. Who is he talking? Who's in the shower? Who's he talking to? He's answering the door naked. Hey, who are you talking to? Someone in the shower? Oh, he's not naked. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Are they like? Juice and Gemma literally losing their minds. Three Chinese rub and tugs got hit last night. Black guys. Lamb wants blood. He thinks that it was us. Was it? Hell no. August is spinning out, man. He's afraid that the streets are going to blow up as he's trying to close his deal in Piedmont. It's a huge government housing project. Is that the one where his partner's in my eh? Yeah. He's a pastor over at Piedmont Grace. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Um, we kind of killed those guys and they're kind of buried somewhere. Just dropped out of sight last week. Now his old lady is in my Why are they all disappearing? I don't know. But his wife's got power of attorney. She could just sign off on everything. August thinks that she'll be easier to find. Oh, my God. Well, that's a clean town, man. It's going to be hard to shake out information. Look, Latricia goes by her maiden name, McQueen. All right. Might want to have Andre the Giant and Captain Psycho sit this one out, though. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Swear to God. Happy looked offended. And he's like, the fuck? <laughs> you say Captain Psycho? Yeah. Annie Ho's preacher. Yep. It's a small world after all. Mm. Marks is going to keep digging until he finds the pastor. So, where do we start looking? Chigga Woods. We're going to ask the preacher. I love how... Tig said it's a small world after all, and one of the episodes that just went up on YouTube was the Globe episode. It's a small yeah. world. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wow. What the fuck? Oh my, dude. You know, that wouldn't have been rotted yet, no? That's the good preacher. Phone's in his pocket. Rat? Shit. Oh, this is probably getting you hard. <laughs> oh, shit, the what? We'll charge him up. See if we can salvage it. I'm gonna stop by the Osa. See you back in Redwoody. What is going on? Come on, come on. 
Paul's not gonna feel itself. That's what he said. <laughs> Sick motherfuckers. Dude, the way, like, Jax is just, he has this attitude and this swagger right now that's gonna definitely get him in trouble, I feel like. Yeah. He just has this confidence that, dude literally told him, like, oh, August is, like, going on a rampage. And, like, the dude that August is waiting for, they literally murdered and put in a friggin' hole. And he's just like, eh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> and you got Juice and Gemma just talking to themselves, it feels like. We're all losing our damn minds. Oh, mine's gone. <laughs> Is Nero around? Your blonde mommy fetish out there said that he'd be back in a few hours. First of all, if I had a mommy fetish, I'd be hooking up with some psycho dominatrix. <laughs> Second, the phrase mommy fetish coming out of the mouth of my own mother should never happen again. Yeah, thank you. I just call it like I see it, babe. Gross. <laughs> Man. Do me a favor, when you see Nero, give him a heads up about Geos. Let him know he's around. Why would Nero care? Just tell him. You can call me for details. It's gonna make Gemma nervous. Mm -hmm. Be careful with him. Don't worry, Mom. We're just friends. Well, right now, he needs more than a friend. Don't complicate his life any more than it already is. How could I do that? Making him think too much. I think your calculator's messed up. Keeps giving me the wrong answer. If he's hanging out here, that shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Got an update on the escort's father. Ken Haas spent the last 36 hours at St. Thomas. Fractured jaw, concussion, two broken ribs. Okay, so he's not dead. No. They just beat him real bad. Think it was Padilla? Shit. Grab Kane. Follow me to the whore club. Yeah, we didn't even talk about her and her being in the friggin' pocket of the club very quickly. Here it comes. For, uh... Who's my dirty little whore? Uh oh. Are you shitting me? Oh no, that happens later. Yeah, it does. Um. Listen, Jax, we couldn't get the cell phone to work. This has no personal info on it. He just used it to record his uh, comings. Oh, my God. Find Venus. I know where she is. What? Look at Bobby! <laughs> of course they stayed in touch. Yeah, boy! <laughs> Tig loves her. Should I be worried he stayed in touch? No. Just let him do what he's gonna do. <laughs> Well, I do love those boots. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> Dick. He and his family might be in danger. That freaky little holy man like to live close to the flame. God can only protect us so much. Why do you have his phone? We need to find his family, baby. Where would you meet him? Different places. At first, he took me to this very unsavory apartment. I told him never again. I need a certain level of comfort to maintain my dignity. <laughs> to Dick. Uh, a quiet lake house once. A lake house that he owned? I think so. Lake Anza, I believe. I'm sure I have the address in my appointment book. We're gonna need that address. Please. Oh my god, Tig. I will help you because I am fond of you. Yeah. I am fond of you all. I feel we are connected on a deeper vibration. Do you feel that? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I feel This <laughs> is... <laughs> I absolutely love the way Tig behaves when Venus is around. <laughs> Me too. It's like... Something we need to know here. <laughs> We're friends. You know, we got things in common. Yeah, I can figure one thing. Don't be disrespectful. Oh, my God. They head upstairs. I'm going to get her to move it along. She tends to dilly-dally. How would you know that she tends to dilly-dally? Okay, now I'm worried. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> You leave him be. Tig is in love. I lo just the way he like glows <laughs> when Venus is around, it's hilarious. He doesn't just glow, he sparkles. Yeah, it's amazing. Your boy, he's unchained right now. He's looking for any excuse to rage. Can you blame him? It gets to a point, Jim, where it ain't about revenge anymore. You're doing it because it just feels good. Yep, I think we're there. Jax definitely feels like someone who's having fun. Jax came by today looking for you. I wanted you to know that Juice is still around. I seem concerned. What happened with Juice? You see, baby, there's some things you just can't share. 
this window. This is... <laughs> Oh, this yeah. feels all bad. Yep. I feel like Nero is the one who's going to get the shit out of this whole situation. 100%. It's like Gemma and Nero may not be married, but it feels like he's going to have the similar outcome to her last husband's. Yes. Oh! Oh my god, Tig. Oh shit. In the water? Take a shot, got, got shot in the stomach. He'll be fine. Oh. Whoa, put down the gun. Leave us alone. Wait, what do you mean, us? Mama, she said regret to see. What the fuck, dude? Shotgun. <laughs> Who did he think they were? Like he was, seemed like he was prepared for that. Time box of fresh. Times when things get the best of her. You Adam, son? That freak is not my father. He's the reason this is all happening. What's happening? Probably killed him. Now they're gonna hurt my mother. Oh my god. This is all bad. This is awful. The fuck is going on? It seems like every time they go down a certain like road for a situation, just. Flies off the rails. I guess Marx wants to use the same loophole. He wants to build low-income housing on the rest of our church property. He wants me to sign off, making him a partner. His construction company gets the Fed kickback, and he uses the project to launder money. And the houses never get built. What are you going to do with this? No one's going to hurt you or your mom. As far as this property deal goes, that's something your stepdad started. There is nothing you can do except ride out his sin. My mother is the one who built that congregation. Supported Joseph in spite of all his degradation. It sucks. She can't just hand it over to some gangster. She can if she wants you two alive. I found you in an hour. You think you can hide from Marx? I'm telling you, next time, neither one of you comes out of the lake. I'll sign it, honey. It's not worth it. This sucks. Give Venus a call, would you, please? <laughs> of course. That's the first person Tig wants to see. Chips and Teller. Let's catch up. And Chibs put those drugs in his bike. Yeah. Leland, Jack's teller. Oh, oh shit. This is not good. This is bad. Oh, shit. Oh! Ah! Ah! Oh shit! Oh no! What are you doing, man? Tell me I'm not the one that brought cops to a drug deal. We had no idea they were behind us. Are you crazy? Oh my god. If they called that in, we gotta get out of here. This is insane. Is she alive? <gasps> She's alive. She's alive. No more games, Juice. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna pack a bag, and then I'm gonna drive you to my dad's place. Walls are closing in, sweetheart. You stay, MC finds you, or the cops do. Jax gets to you and you end up dead. Is that what you want? I don't wanna die. I don't like being alone. Aw, Juice. I'm not good on my own. See, and then he makes you feel bad for him. My head gets so loud, and shit doesn't make nothing sinks up. I start thinking about my thinking and getting lost in the details of nothing. Nothing put me out of it. I know he's done a bunch of really terrible shit, but he's a really easy dude to feel sorry for. Yeah. I currently don't, but it's easy to. I'll 
reach out to Tully tomorrow. Try to explain this. Yeah, well, if Aglier Kane called that thing in, we'll all be able to talk to him face to face. You should just get out of here, baby. Say your problem. I swore an oath to the care and nurturing of a dear friend. <laughs> These two. <laughs> Everybody needs to find somebody that looks at them the way Tig looks at Venus. Honestly, honestly. My sweet Alex, I was born a man, but I believe my true genesis happened a bit later when I was stirred by the gods of love and beauty and transformed into an angel whose sole purpose is to bring light to the shadow. Like you, Tig. Like you. Yeah. What are you doing? I don't know what's happening right now. Tigger is in love. <laughs> and probably high as fuck. I need to know if you had anything to do with this. Of course we didn't. Does it fit any kind of gang pattern you know of? Cop retaliation? Oh someone new trying to earn cred? No, we'll keep our ears open. Like, she feels really sus, the way she's, like, going straight to them. Alone? Kenneth Haas, you have anything to do with that? We have ops. I did it. Scumbag beats and extorts his own daughter. I made sure that doesn't happen again. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Another place? This is getting out of hand. As if it hasn't been out of hand before. This is getting out of hand. This is out of hand. Did you know the guy? He was one of Lynn's. You saw him. Don't know. Chinese were the ones who killed Tara, weren't they? That's what this is all about. The shit that went down at the timber trail. Girl, you don't even know. No. Did the club retaliate for Tara? I don't know anything. Grenades just went off in an ice cream shop on Main Street. If the MC is in some kind of war and it's now blowing shit up in Charming, I gotta know. <laughs> oh, uh -oh. shit. Welcome to Dio Sonorte. Thanks. Had a long ride. We're just gonna grab a drink right now. Oh no. Are they about to friggin' massacre everyone here? Yeah, it feels that way. This wasn't a message, brother. A dude saw us in the shop. It was straight up retaliation. Somebody sold us out the lid. Jesus Christ, check on the guns. Oh no. Oh no. I see him picking up. Everybody hold? Yeah. Shining. What? That don't make no sense. Yeah. Mr. Len appreciates all your efforts in getting everyone together. What happens at Diosa will impact you, but it's meant for the sons of anarchy. Who, who is this? Oh, oh my God. shit. Diosa. Oh, God. <gasps> oh, shit. Shit, dude. This is... <laughs> I feel like this is exactly what we were talking about in the intro. Where Jax has been running too free and things are catching up to him in the club now. 
There are I dead feel, cops. Yeah. The lens crew is retaliating. Like I, hardcore. Uh, yeah, they blew up the ice cream shop with them in it, and then literally murdered everyone at Diosa. This is. Did someone give them up, or is just Lynn onto them? I don't know. Well, because I'm. Or is this a jury? Whoever, like, somebody, is it jury? Oh my god. I, like, I, I thought maybe it was Tyler. I forgot about that. But, I, like, I don't think it would be Tyler. I though. don't think it would be Tyler either. I feel like. I was like, as soon as Jack said someone gave us up, or was it Jack's? Someone said that. I started racking my brain about like who the hell would this like it wouldn't be it August. August. I don't think it would be August. What if August Oh my god, what if they join forces because they're like, this is bullshit, something is happening and I'm gonna figure it out. I feel like it's jury. I feel like he has the most He does like though. he has the most like information to provide yeah oh shit because he was there at the hit when he when they killed all the lens guys he could easily be yeah. like i was there here's the gun this is what happened here's some of the like i don't know if he has any of the drugs or not i don't think he does well, yeah but, but, i mean oh, I, I don't know to the house. yeah i don't know if they took that i my my vote's on jury of ratting on jackson the club because of the betrayal jury and August. You think August? I mean, August did tell him in the in the car, like, I have no remorse killing you or the club members. So, I mean, everyone's in a really dark place. I mean, it could even be that Mayan president, too, who yeah. I feel like he's been really, I mean, but I don't, I don't think, think he, he has, has the enough. intel. Yeah. I think Jerry's the only one who has the intel because he was there on the hit on, on Lynn's crew. But we're, how, who, but the Mayans are the ones who got the guns from the port, so yeah, maybe the know. Mayans also had something to do with it, like to help. Yeah, because it was the Mayans' guns being protected by one of the sons, Wes, Andre the Giant. Is no, that, that wasn't that him. wasn't him. No, oh. no, 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 no. I couldn't tell. He was kind of killed in a box with the hair and <laughs> stuff. Oh, that was Wes. Um. I just... Like, what is... So, like, obviously, this isn't on the same level as Tara. No. But Colette, like, Jax had something for her. There was a mutual respect there, yeah, I There know. were feelings there, for sure. Yeah, yeah. And him walking in on her dead body, is this going to send him into even a deeper spiral in combination with the ice cream shop getting blown up? With the Maybe. freaking cops on the scene getting killed. But, like, Ugh. something has got to happen to where he finds out that Gemma did the terrible stuff. I mean, that whole situation, the fact that Gemma's going to be the one transporting juice to her dad's house. That's got to be bad, right? Yeah, I like, mean. They've got to find out about this somehow. It, it's going to be, I feel like Unser is going to do something at some point with the information that he has. I feel like that's what I feel like that's the play. But what information does he have? I he's the he knows where Juice is. He knows that Gemma's with Juice, hiding him out and helping him. That's enough information to kind of get things started. I I don't know what else. I mean, Unser is doing a lot of information gathering right now. Whether it's Tara's file or being on the scene or talking to certain people. Yeah. I I don't know what his play is going to be as he's gathering this information. I'm, I'm kind of thrown off by this new sheriff. I don't know if she has any idea what the hell she's gotten herself into. She's very confusing because it's like she knows them, but she doesn't know them. Yeah, her relationship with Chibs. Especially it, Chibs. If, to us, it feels like it's been two minutes, but it feels like they've known each other for a minute. Yeah, like, even though she like mispronounced his name, like was that on purpose? Yeah, I think she's Are just calling him Scotty. Cause, something? Yeah, because he's Scottish, but I mean... I think that's just like, it's like a cute nickname thing, I feel like. But we're... If you have a relationship with someone, you call them like a cute little nickname. I know, but then, like, she'll ask about the scars, and then, like, she'll show her a scar. But then, just the way that they look at each other, and, like, you and him holding her hand in yeah, the car, like, 
Something she, feels very there is, sus. There is no way, after all of that went down, the sheriff is getting a ride home from one of the sons. That seems very odd. Yeah, that seems a little questionable. I don't know what is going on there. The fact that she took their money, but then wasn't able to stop the APB on Juice. Yeah. I... I Something's very Something's fishy, fishy for yeah. sure. Like, yeah. there's, like, question marks and red flags and everything is, like, flying out of my head when I see what she's doing and the way she's behaving. Because Who goes to the ice cream shop by themselves? Yeah. If you're, like, a... That was very... I mean... If you're, like, a by-the-book cop, I don't... Unser oh, used to do that all the time. I know, he used but to show that's up just alone. different. They've yeah. known him forever. She's fresh. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe that's her way or of trying... Or is she? Yeah. Maybe that's her way of building trust. I don't know. I, it feels weird. It definitely feels, like, very questionable. But... I it, know she wants to go there and see Chibs. I mean... Yeah. I get it. I'd want to go see Chibs, too. Honestly. Um, with that smile, you thought you He's great. <laughs> uh, but this whole... Like, <laughs> We literally talked about it in the intro, and this literal episode shit unraveled. Yes. Like, Jax is losing it. And the fact I that, like... I think he's lost it. I think it's gone. It's... How you come back from this? I mean, the fact that that drop happened, that deal that he was going to make with the Nazi dudes, the fact that, like, the cops followed them there and then got shot up like that, like, holy shit. I'm so happy that the one officer survived. Like, at least she didn't die. They didn't both die. I mean, getting shot four times like that with the friggin' AK in the back? I know. Holy shit. Poor Kane, though, through the head. Oh, my God. That was so brutal. That was awful. Just the way... We talked about this, I think, last episode. Not being completely familiar with Lynn and his capabilities. Right. I think we just got a taste of what Lynn's capable of. And it feels very much like the Irish. He said he was going to turn this town into, what did he say, yeah. killing field? That's what he said. It's another one of those situations where we don't know a lot about Lynn and what they are willing to, and capable of doing, and we got a taste of it. The fact that they broke the glass, like the dude knew to break the glass and then throw the grenade in and almost killed all those people. That. I was like, because what if you threw it and like it didn't break the right. glass and it he, would pop right back out? He, so you had to like break it That was it smart. First. Yeah. And then the fact that he hit Diosa the way that they did. I mean, was awful. those are all innocent people. They're all innocent people just living and working and they just freaking open fire on all of them. That's... I mean, that feels like it's even a step up from what the Irish did because the Irish never fully got to kill innocent people. They yeah. almost did by blowing up the club the first time. I mean, the Irish have been responsible for a lot, but I, them wiping out everybody at Diosa feels like next level, just yeah. nasty shit. Yeah. And I mean, the way he framed Marx at the massage parlor, seeing what happened this episode. Which why it makes seeing... me think of Marks. Like maybe August heard about this and was like, wasn't me, bitch. I mean, if, if August and Lynn are in communication more than just what they're dealing with now, then obviously Lynn would know that Marks wouldn't hit their parlor. Yeah. So there might be a relationship there where... Lynn be like, I know it wasn't you. It was probably staged by the sons yeah. kind of thing. They're well, trying and to that, blackmail you. the gang you or... that helped. I right. can never remember the name of that gang. I yeah. apologize. The one with the dope orange bikes. Yeah. Their bikes are awesome looking. And the guy from one of the childhood shows that um, we grew up with, I cannot for the life of me remember his yeah. name. So, I mean, there's a... Uh, we talked about it multiple times now. The way Jax is trying to play these crews... The fact that something went rogue and didn't go according to plan, this is the result. I, I don't feel like they have the capabilities to keep up with this. They need an army. Yeah. Because if you really are messing with Marks and you've got Marks crew and Lynn's crew and even the Mayan crew, like if you've got all of them working against you, you're going to need Boss. more than Tacoma. Yeah. You're going to need a lot more than that. So... The fact that they hit that warehouse and got the guns too, who whoever stole those guns, 
Like someone's packing a lot of heat. I assume it was lens crew at the Osa with the guns. That would make sense to That's me. That's what it feels like. So then the mines are helping them. I mean, they are working together. I don't know. I'm just like yeah. saying like that's proof. Which is why Nero is like, no, nah, it wasn't them. Because he thought that they were all on good terms. Yeah. And no, they're not. I feel bad for Nero. He yeah. does not I mean, know what the he's fuck just, is happening. He's stuck in like no man's land, it feels like. And he's just in a position where he's going to... I feel like a lot of bad things are going to potentially happen to him and it's going to be rough because I like him now and I always feel bad about my original assessment of him as a character because I didn't trust him for a while, but he's proven to be a really dope character and I just, I, I feel like a lot of bad's going to happen. Like a lot of bad has happened to him. Thank God he wasn't there. I was, yeah. Like when he showed up there like, to also... the scene of like the ice cream parlor, I was like, oh, he's not, the, okay. And the way this is all playing out, I mean, this season, again, no holds barred, gloves are off, anything's possible at this point. So, that was another wild episode. This season's been insane. Yep. Do you have any other thoughts on it? No. All right, y'all. You guys, share all your thoughts. We'll see you guys later for the next one. Have a good one. Bye.